Welcome back to Age of Wonders 4, where we are trying to get the Grey Achievement, and we'll just do another turn, as is tradition in these kind of games. I haven't been sucked in by a 4X game in a long while like this, honestly. I even forget the time recording. These are getting long and long, but it's fun. I'm enjoying myself. And that's all that matters with video games, I think. A friendship with us was declared. I wonder by who. Spells are ready to cut. Oh god, okay. Kindred spirits aftermath. Now that our diplomatic bonds with the little warriors of center stake have developed, the halfling growers council ambassador revisits us. We knew you wouldn't fail us. The ambassador's words are accentuated by wide gestures as he grins from ear to ear. We are gladdened to hear that the Empire of Center Stake celebrated our, your mutual interests, and so do your halfling grows and their little warriors. May our people and culture prosper further forevermore. Our new vassals are eager to visit our cities. We among the little warriors should we invite first. Invite the citizens to show off our great works. Invite the traders. Oh boy. For six turns. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at all of that. I think, uh, I'm sorry, but we, we will have to invite the traders. That's insane. That's 500, well, 550 gold, more or less, for six turns extra. That's double our income. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. All right, new research. Ooh, we're getting close. Gaia's chosen. I th I feel we Gaia's chosen, aren't we? I feel that we are. Give me a blanket of forest to spread across the world. Unfurl its emerald embrace over all regions. Cast a lush and leafy shadow over every land. This, this will be When the music of birdsong and the bellow of beasts accompany the breeze wafting through the eternal woods, then I shall be contented. A free city declared war on us. All right, that's fine. They were absorbed, it wasn't their fault. How is this going anyway? You're about to lose a city, my friend. Will your troops reach in time? I don't think so. All right, let's end our turn. We might want to send over here and build an outpost so we have our own teleporters close by to our ally. I don't know what he's doing there, but it's not looking good. And I can't help. Not yet, anyway. Alright, flowing fields is done building the teleporter. That's good. Should we build the root of nature here? I don't think so. Okay, so, Wizard Tower. Grants a teleportation circle spell, allowing friendly armies to teleport back to the throne city. So that's a spell we have to cast. It. That's not actually a... That's not actually a teleporter. So we still need the teleporter over there. But I think... Gardens of Bliss... That's what I want to put somewhere. Counts as a farm per adjacent grassland province. Oh, we don't have all that many of those. We would have them over there. So if we started annexing this, that would be grassland, mountain, rocky, grassland, rocky, grassland, 
grassland. Okay, we could put it there. That would work. But that takes so long. The root of nature would be more interesting. So we'll build it on this quarry, I think. It's right next to the seed of nature, right next to a teleporter. It's very defensible that way. Okay. So we built the teleporter here. What's next? Stonemason and a market. And the Grand Citadel while we get all that boosting here. Oh boy, yeah, I don't think he has a chance. Yep, yep, yep. That wasn't good. But, ah, okay, there, there are a bunch of knights in there, level 4, tyrant knights. Those are really, really strong. Those are quite dangerous. And he got these guys, okay. he He's, he's someone to be reckoned with, for sure. Those are not simple enemies. Alright, let's build all this just because we can. And let's bring these guys home. Where should we bring them? Where would they be sensibly deployed? I don't actually quite know where to send them. Over here to build an outpost? Yeah, I think so. Over there to build an outpost. It will be difficult to defend that, but definitely the, something that's worth it because we can immediately go for his... Uh, capital city and let's reinforce that notion with a big army ah come on let me uh -huh. these guys can just sit on the seat of nature there and defend it well defend it is is a strong word for get blown to bits once something comes and tries and take it all right, we can annex something new here. What shall it be? Definitely the Hidden Garden. We need the Imperium income. Always the Imperium income. <laughs> and what did we get out of it? Another tiny spider. There's only small things happening behind here. I think that's kind of cute. All right, what should we get? Definitely this here. With a mana node. Um... <laughs> another farm there yeah another farm your empire skill combat casting points per unit death is not bad but I definitely wanted this so our units can move a little bit further with how large these empires are that's just quite important Honestly, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do with you? I'm going to forgive you all those grievances you've called me. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. There you go. Enjoy that. <laughs> now we're pure good. Uh, a Whispering Stone has returned, so... I don't think there's anyone left to give it to. So we'll just put it in Heart Hollow. Improve the stability even further. Let's end our turn. So Pure Good does the following things. We get a lot of free city relations. And random events have a chance of being good. Oh, 
1,000. Checking the strength of these armies here. Ah, that's fair. That's fair. This, not so much. We'll have to reinforce him soon. But that's our next step anyway. Okay, Gaia's chosen. Very good. That's something we're going to do. Blessing of Paradise. Sustained City Spell. Plus 40 Stability. Income bonus from Positive City. Stability is doubled. Definitely going to do that. All right, let's set to C. And we'll build the stone walls, and that'll be that. Very good. New empire skill available. Acquiring new population across 50% less food. It's all pretty damn good. But everything in there is good. There's nothing bad in there. Just things you might not need at that very moment. All right, one of our scouts was cowed out. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right, we'll, we'll join him in this assault on Emberton. That's what we're going to do. So we set over. I will definitely put an outpost here. And yeah, let's let's do some more defensive stuff. While we can. Alright, Aegis definitely needs a teleporter. Where did we put it? Somewhere there on the quarry, I think. I don't know if that's a good idea, honestly. Let's let's not let's not do that. <laughs> um, let's instead build a temple of fertility. Sure. Let's start on the Gaia's chosen here. Major race transformation for us. And let's end that turn. Let's hope he doesn't get obliterated there before we can reinforce him. Right, very good. Um, we will build the teleporter first. We want to be able to bring in reinforcements quick. And until then, we'll just kind of camp here and hope we're not getting assaulted in the next three turns. Blessing of Paradise can be cast. Nature's Bounty, all friendly units. And the... I mean, yeah, that's helpful if we're out and about in a war. You guys need a tavern. Always build a tavern. Can't not have no tavern. And you get to the stonemason too. Oh, we can annex something new. I'm always excited about that. Such a nice little reinforced loop. Um, I think we'll build another farm there because the sacred meadow works well with farms. Oh, got a nice little little unicorn there. Let's put it on that army, reinforce them. Actually, this spider could also go there. Look how far we can go now. We don't need a teleporter on Aegis because we can just get there and they have a teleporter, so that's fine. How's our siege going down here? Okay, next turn we can take care of that. Aegis can also next another province. What shall we do? Where shall we go? More south to our ally. 
Yeah, let's. And another warg. Goes there. Really just hope he doesn't come for me. Just three turns. And then we will be combat ready. Sadly, we see nothing anymore. Oh, oh, he turned it into a vassal. That's good for us because what we can do is we can... Oh, no, we can't do it yet. Soon. Soon. To those who wait, your allies have convened to honor our benevolent contributors to the realm. Guildmistress Helgi Gildemaster of Kregma leads the assembly gracious, wandering wonder. A singular purpose drives our gathering. Everyone here benefited from one of your favors, good deeds, and supportive acts. Indeed, some of us would have fallen to those serving evil had you been any less selfless and heroic. Your allies bow before you in unison. Man, my heart. It is high time we express our appreciation, proclaims Helgi. Choose whatever boon we can muster. Raft and Heart Hollow. You gain three bastions. That's pretty good. Um, the River of the Shepherd unlocks the Materium spell transmute resource. Target friendly converts their mana income into some. Nah. Nah. Yeah. My friends, our friendship is its own reward. Let's be honest. That's that's what we would pick. That's what we would pick. It is indeed. They, they have been such good friends to us. All right. Nothing here for us to do. That's just there for us to travel. And let's add a fishery there. I don't know exactly why I would do that, but that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Oh, we got a mythic kraken. Uh, we'll just... These are kind of expensive to keep. But for now we can afford it, so we'll leave it. Our post is still building. I hope he's destroying that seed of order there. Production in Heart Hollow. Uh, definitely the Grand Estate now. And... Yeah, we'll come back to it. Berkshire Merchant's Guild of two of those. Let's get the Temple of Fertility. Oh, we can annex a new thing. What should it be? Yeah, the pasture is there. It's just very on brand for us. Free city declared war on us. Silver wall, yeah. Breach made in the Siege of Tinkerbur, so we'll do that. We lost a warg. That is perfectly fine by me. We have successfully conquered Tinkerbur, resulting in a very happy chieftain, a Varian Skull Torture. I can't believe you've done it. You actually crushed him. I knew your prowess was legendary, but I have never seen anything like it in my days. I'm grateful. Truly grateful. Center Stake owes you a great debt. We have not much to offer a great wandering wonder like you, but know that you have made a friend for life in us. What can we ask? Um, let us seal this great achievement with a new treaty. What? 2,758 gold. No. Let's have a new treaty. That's fine. Okay, and this here we will vassalize. So this will take a while. We'll leave our pig there to take care of it. And send everyone back upstairs. You will just sit there. I make sure no one comes and retakes this. I'm gonna level up here. Fighting too, so you deal even more damage, which you already do quite a bit of.
our scout was taken out. Alright. Yeah, we're looking at a lot of tyrant knights around us. Against us. Gaia's Chosen is ready on the next turn. I just sitting on that thing. I think it's being broken, but whoever knows. All right, upstairs with you, all of you, back out, except for the pig. The pig stays. You stay, and you also just kind of stay there. You look menacing from the seas. Uh, diffuse health, target enemy units say sustain 30 blight damage. Friendly units get health back. So that's a fair trade, I think. I was immediately researched. Okay. Uh, let's get... Yeah. Nature's Wrath. I don't know, maybe the Tome of Teleportation. Mastery Call, Astral Trade Relay, Phase Beasts. Phase is pretty cool. Let's see, we need some more unit. Some more fighting ability. Tyrant Knight. I think we'll go for subjugation. Tyrant Knights are just so good. And we're f facing off a... Uh, maybe we can get something with spears. Can we get something with spears? I don't think so. Horned God. Another mythic unit. Are Tyrant Knights mythic units? No. The rest we don't really need, though, honestly. Let's go for summoning a horn, God. I think... Okay. Uh, this here has a good thing. There's a lot of good things for us. Let's get another conduit going. We can use the mana. All right, let's transform. And next up, super growth. And who could we do this? Didn't we do that already? Well, we'll click it, just in case we didn't do that already and I'm forgetting something good. That would help us a lot. Don't want to do that. All right, let's end our turn. All right, you hate us. That's okay. Can't do anything about it. Still waiting for the next Rally of the Lieges to reinforce Castellan there. Why aren't you even taking gray square, honestly? You're doing nothing. You're just kind of stuck there, aren't you? I will need all my armies to take over Emberton, but we'll try. We'll certainly try. Oh, the end turn didn't trigger. Sometimes it just doesn't.
All right. Uh, now we can build some stone walls because the teleporter is done. Let's move our troops a little bit off of it. So I can actually bring in new troops. More troops. Though they have to leave the underground first. Where was that? Here. And which teleporter is closer? We'll go north, I think. Now nah, we'll wait on the outpost, really, actually. No need to put ourselves in danger like that. Just because we're waiting. All right, what do we build here now? Temple of Fertility, because we've done it everywhere now. Now you guys need a bathhouse. You're not so happy. Yeah, I never did this. For sure, we want super growth. Large hobbits. Large halflings. All right, okay. Let's go on a spending spree for our boy there. He gets everything we can give him. There you go. I think Castellan should get the Whispering Stone. Let's remove it from our main city. They are a little bit... Sad, it looks like. Oh, I can't give that to them. Let's see what we could trade with our boys around here. Mm, that's steep price. We should probably use our trade packs as we can. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's give them a whispering stone again. We took it away from them before. I remember now. <laughs> What can we do in trade with you? Money for mana. It's a good deal. We'll take it. And what can we do with our ground dwelling allies here? What trades do you have? A little bit of mana for work power. I'll take it. And what can you do with us? A bit of mana for draft or a lot of money for knowledge. I'll take the knowledge. Thanks. So these guys will be well reinforced in a moment. Okay, who's starting this? Which one of you is it? Ideally, it's that guy. Because we're right next to him and we can take care of it immediately. Who's doing that? Who's starting the countdown to the end of the world? You have a root of order, seed of order. Ah, oh, no, it's him. Stuff all there. And we're definitely not gonna... Alright, okay, fine. Our ambitions in the north are... Squashed. We need to go south. We need to wage war in the south. Not exactly as I envisioned this, but... We're not too far away from it, so... Might as well... Get going there. There's so much war on these worlds. All the sadness. Ah, we should probably put these on the root of nature. Just defend a little bit. Outpost is fine. And... 
We will take our hero for sure. Send him south. Oh, okay. Is this really the best one? I, I we definitely need to build a teleporter here. That's just silly. Uh, we'll build it on this farm there. That's fine. I'm not moving kilo matches <laughs> for nothing. Uh, you guys just all sit there. Summon a horned god is possible now. <sighs> I love devolve. Devolve is such a cool spell. We received a trade proposal. Uh, consider it a gift. You can have it for free. I don't need anything from you. You want another call to war? All right, now war is coming home, basically. Relations with non-allied rulers are going to go down. That's fine. We only have this one friend in the world. You want a truce with us, but you want me to pay? I think we might. Nah, not yet. Um, with you, yeah, I don't care. We'll get this going. You want a truce? Have it. A war between rulers has ended. Okay, everyone's going to start war on yellow now, basically. Can we talk to you guys again? We were friends before, weren't we? Come on. We can be friends again. War has ended. War between rulers has ended. We were complimented. A war has ended. Other rulers made a defensive pact. Oh no. We were insulted. Other rulers started a war. War between rulers has ended. We accepted a call to war and the war has ended and everything is kind of ended. Okay, fine. Let's make peace then. Ah, see? If I offer it, it costs us nothing. Okay, this way I can withdraw from my outpost there without needing to worry much. And now we're just at war with these here. We can't change that. So that's fine, I don't care. We've never actually really met them. They got this vortex city there, but that's really it. Yellow is going to be the issue. But it'll be fine. We we got the troops, we got the movement, we got the places, we got everything we need to take care of this. And so we shall. But nothing brings people together like common foes in such a way. Why is everyone so evil here? We're like the only only nice people in this world. Oh, well, they are also kind of nice, but not to us. Could send them a gift. Sure, have a gift. Alright, let's keep going south. The pain of not being in your own territory anymore. Come on, let me select this army, please. Thank you. And I think we'll speed up the teleporter. And bring in our troops from the north. To become south troops.
new research for us. Awaken the forest is pretty cool. Gives you an army out of a forest. What can we build here? Storehouse. It's basically immediately done, so we're going to do that. Estate Hall. Beacon of Valor. Armory Academy. Nah. All the options. <laughs> Let's build the estate hall. And the farmer's guild after. Because we got all them farms here. New empire development skill. Gain knowledge whenever a unit gains a rank. It's not bad. Vassals gain plus one allegiance levels when first vassalized. Converting conquered cities into vassals take less turns. I think we'll take the growth here. Trade proposal. You want to make peace? Fine, I'll give you the money for peace. Other rulers forged an alliance. That's not great. Great. So they're throwing in their lot with this guy. Who absolutely hates us. He completely despises us. There's nothing we can do except declare war on him. But he now has alliances. One of which is with one of our allies. The only ally we have, mind you. This is not good. Such a change in tide. Parade of the Wandering Wonder. We have treated the citizens in the flowing field well, and a parade was organized for us. They all wanted to show off their various skills. I tried reasoning with them, even threatened a corporal punishment, but they won't agree. Of course, they will obey you, my Wandering Wonder. The major guilds. Oh, right. The city's guard and soldiers shall salute. The artisans of the fields. You will honor me most. The, yeah, the, the virtuous citizens will be honored. That's fine. All right, let's keep growing. These will just leave there. Eventually, we might try and take that. Can we? No. <laughs> no chance. All right, so I think that this was taken, so... Well, where did it go? Oh, it went through that underground passage. Oh, I didn't know that existed. We could have saved so much movement time. Oh, my. That's horrible. All right, let's build a watchtower. Grand estate was done at home. <sighs> Major skills. Starting rank to every support unit is pretty good. Especially since the Druid of the Circle is a support unit, so those come out even stronger immediately. Alright. 
Let's build a levy camp somewhere. Don't really have a good spot for it. Okay, we're not going to build it. Uh, we'll have a, uh, the Temple of Fertility. You can annex something new. Let's go just kind of close this up here and get you another farm. And then the Warg. Hartolo can annex. Okay. I think we'll throw another farm here. Again, it doesn't really matter anymore. Two unicorns. Wow. Everyone can annex, huh? Looks like it. Let's maybe try and connect these up slowly but surely. So we'll build a farm there. Bring that unicorn home. You can annex another province and po. We go that way. Where do we send this? Down there. Other rulers forged an alliance. Free city can be integrated, which we don't want to do. Defensive pact. Defensive pact. Everyone is doing cool stuff and no one wants to talk to us. I don't understand. Why does no one want to talk to us? It's the last war thing, isn't it? But he just gets around it. It's kind of mean. Only 13 turns left to take care of this. He's not protecting the heart currently, so it's our best option, really. Can't we use the team demon gate with them? Or probably we don't have the right amount of vassalage yet. Could boost it, cost us a whole bunch. We'll just slowly move forward and eventually we will arrive and eventually we'll take care of it. Why? I think my depth perception is off. I always struggle to select my units. Oh, another Heart of Order. Good, so we take that and then he'll just start the same thing. Ah, uh, right, what do we need? Let's get the crow enchantment going. And... Let's do this, actually. Enchant our boys. And... And we'll build a war camp here. Just a little bit more space for us to exist. Not really the best thing to build, but we... <laughs> it's boosted, it's there, we take it. We'll take it. This is a little bit of an income boost. We can annex another thing. Okay, we can link up now. So we'll do that. All the farms and all the places. Should probably take all this too because that's where they're mainly moving. So let's build another farm here. And pull these there. Spells are ready to cast. Of course they are. And we'll get Blessing of Paradise on our main city. More alliances being forged. We're entirely left out of this, I feel.
I think he starts moving troops there now. Give me my units, please. Why can't I ever select them proper? They never are where they look to be. It's really quite vexing. Right, you just exist there. And you go and exist there. All right, let's start on the tier five tome, finally. Force of nature, unit enchantment for everyone, 20% critically chance, that's crazy. And we'll absolutely take that. Mass rejuvenation is nice, but... We shall all be humble before one who can fully... Oh, it's really nice. The forces of nature. The giver of life and cultivation. Both of these are great. I think we'll start with this. If we can even afford to have it. Uh, clergy commons. And a bathhouse after you're not so happy. You should be happier. Alright, you can annex. Um, we already have that, but here's another nice little pasture to add. So we will do that. You can annex a new thing. So we'll just keep growing north. Maybe let's get some quarries going. We don't have too many of those. Spell ready for paradise. Oh, that costs us a lot of mana. I we need to check our spells here. And Power Beast is the most expensive we have. Might be worthwhile to kick that out. Or we just d reduce the amount of beasts we have. Or we increase the amount of mana we have. Let's click this. Yeah, we increase the amount of mana we have. That's the right choice. Um, first turn of combat casting is pretty good. Let's improve. Uh, I'd rather save it up for a little bit later. Now the ruler was denounced. Doesn't matter to me. Anyone? Anyone? No. How did they get so quickly on all that? They were at war too. How? How? How did all that turn so quickly? I don't understand. God, I, don't, I don't like diplomacy in these games. It's just always so obtuse. It's never clear what's going on. All right, um, this doesn't look good for him. It looks like he's losing both to the invasion forces. But he has some time to regain them. We'll bring our troops in position and watch what happens in the south there. We'll be ready to help this situation, to remedy it. Even though we will start a war with basically everyone if we do so. You guys can combine a little bit. We don't have the Mage's Guild yet, so it doesn't really matter to do that. Uh, let's go this way. Let's get a Forester going there. Because they don't actually have all that many options to get Foresters. 
Berkshire kind of next another province. So maybe this. This has something in it. It has fish in it. So it's better. All right, okay. Um we're waiting for that to finish, but we can bless another city. Blessing of Paradise on another city. Berkshire. Now we give it to Aegis. And let's end our turn. Right, we wanted to check what's going on here. It's got a Baylor and that thing there. So you might just lose it to them. I mean, there's very little shame in doing that. I've, I've lost things to these as well. Why are you sending your troops north? You need to defend south to win a little. Okay, as I said, we're just we're just tourists. We're just here to visit. Don't pay us any mind or heed. We don't want to do nothing. We're just looking at that heart of order there. Very interested in what it does. All right, what's next? Restore the land. Nah. I mean, these are immediately researched. Let's go. Poison blades, why not? And let's get our force of nature going. This is going to be costly. 360 mana. We'll do it. We'll do it. And I think we'll start kick out a few of those level 1 units. Those little spiderlings here. These just cost a lot and they're not at all cost effective. Like, not one bit. So we'll kick out all these level 1 thingies. We don't want them. They don't help us. Well, the archers can stay, but the birds go. We'll just clear out all the little level 1 beasties. Those don't help us. See how quickly we go back into the positive there. So we might even be able to afford another enchantment. Join. Do we have weird little level 1 units in these armies? Not really. Nothing we want to dismiss here. Alright, let's see. Awaken Instincts or Fortress of Vines. I like this. Yes, 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 yes. Make our cities more defensible. Alright. Uh, let's... What can we annex? We can annex anything. I don't know where these go. Like, who gets this bonus? I don't know. Uh... We'll, we'll take this. Aegis can annex. Let's fill this out. Another spider. And that goes to this army this time. New Empire development skill. Ah. No. We could get another city going. That would be interesting for us. No, nah, I'm still saving up. 
I'm not convinced on anything here. So let's keep a look on this. A watch on that. Still have some time. We don't need to act yet. He might still naturally lose these. Yeah, okay, that doesn't look like he's going to be able to fend that off. Wealth beyond measure. The chairman of the half my Halfling Growers Council of Poacher this. Mark of the Horde for us. I mean, yeah, we're very wealthy. So cities in the race gain plus one. Stability for each gold. And we generate one less gold for every person we have. So we can afford that. And we'll have massive stability. Basically. Yeah, we'll just keep watching for now. You can annex something new. Let's take this quarry then. Bring in the spirit wolf. I think we'll dismiss these two. Like they, they are not helping us whatsoever and they're very expensive to have. I know, it's a little bit of a nickel and diming situation right now, but that's okay. Why can't he take care of this? I don't understand. Or why isn't he? Where is this capital anyway? This. If we get to five turns until he wins, and they haven't taken care of it, we go attack. Uh, speaking of which, let's build the Heart of Nature here in Aegis. And we'll build it right there. And we'll boost it. Because we got the money. And we'll start. I oh, know we can't. They have theirs going, so we need to wait for that to finish. Spell up, keep 20. Crow companions. Yeah. Can afford improving these two. Uh, we probably should put an army on top of that. Right there. Let's get a new spell. Mass rejuvenation. Absolutely. Let's go with the monolith. We need the mana. All the monoliths we can build will now be built. And Aegis gets a beacon of valor. To be a little bit more defensible. We're not going to do anything here. And just end our turn. Won't these break already? I mean, this thing has been occupied for a long, long time now. Should be destroyed. What is going on? I don't get it. They are not being challenged. Alright, I think we'll have to take matters in our own hands. They don't have any val uh, allies, so... Well, they do, but... They might not join. Uh, we'll see. And it was an unjust war? I don't get it. I will never get it. Okay, we'll destroy this. And we'll just move through. Yeah. 
We'll leave maybe a spider or something there. I don't know. Tome of teleportation. Tome of beasts now. After going all the way on that already. I think we go for devastation. Uh, just so we get a little bit of a siege Above project. All, the fray. For those who live and breathe war will always grapple for victory. Even after their blades have broken, their bones have shattered, their brains have been turned to pulp. Build the mightiest war machines and impart your army with a hunger for victory. Then you will be unstoppable. Okay, I pushed myself out to sea, kind of on accident. Because that city can't grow any other direction anymore. Let's finish up on the inside for the movement. Heart hollow can annex. Anything interesting to annex? Not really, so we'll just grow in that direction. New big spider thing. Uh, it's a gift, have it. Treaty has expired. Alright, that was all our trade agreements with our vassal cities. So let's see if anyone comes to his rescue. I really need to le learn to read about the war declarations. I always think it says justified, but it always says unjustified. Alright, another war. Yes, yes. That's not surprising. But that doesn't matter. They're way too far away to actually be a threat to us in any meaningful way. So put the spider there. And we'll move south here. Will we be able to start that siege? Nope. It would be a short siege though, so that's good. And he's still dealing with those demons over there, potentially. Well, there are armies coming. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we awaken us a forest. To help our situation a little bit. You just sit there. And you sit there for a turn. Devastator spheres. Enchanted bloom. Target friendly city starts. Altering terrain to grasslands. Nah. Focus of devastation. Nah. Summon a greater animal. Sure. You have built your bathhouse. So let's focus a little bit on defensive now. As there are wars coming. Don't really defend the hinterlands. So we'll just do this. And you annex. That there. And this one we'll dismiss, dismiss immediately. It's way too expensive for what it is. Oh, now you want a wizard spawned, huh? Okay, so some of them are going to scramble now. To get in our good graces. So we'll take it all. Treaty expired, broken, denounced, expired. Okay. Let's keep going. So we immediately need to basically start casting the win condition. The second they are done.
so no one else starts it because that would be silly. I was hoping for the infestation to take care of it or the invasion, but clearly they are not. Problem is, once we start ours, we need to get home as well to help defend. So let's start this siege here. We want the Devastator Spheres. And we break the battlements and we undermine the walls. And we put everyone on that siege as best we can. Alright, we'll keep that on the back of our hand, the Awaken the Forest spell. We don't need it right now. Well, or do we cast it? I think we'll do. I'll just awaken this little forest here. Sounds fair? I think it sounds fair. Costs us a lot of mana, but we'll lose some anyway. So that's okay. We are working with the understanding that we're going to lose some fighters now. Like, it's just, just how it's going to be. Let's build the boosted stuff. And ballista towers, catapult towers, beacon of valor, just more defense. Defensive pact, sure. Yeah, they are all coming in now. Everyone's jumping on this. Denounced, fine. I don't care. Let's see if they come or not to defend this. Cognac Bone Mauler. It's a great name. We could make a direct push to take him out entirely. That way we could then concentrate north again. All right, Song of the Ages, we're very happy. It's an honor to speak with you, great wandering wonder. The flamboyant musician says, strumming his lute, I am known throughout the realm as a humble bard, storyteller, and lyricist extraordinaire. Your legend is truly inspiring to me. I must simply write a ballad about you, a song worthy of your legacy. Um, Make a song that instills obedience. Song, uh... I think a song about honor and benevolence or nah make an inspiring working song we're we're, we're hard working people okay our ally has just declared war on us always fun and the heart of order was lost so now we can start on the age of nature and we'll just cast this somewhere in our realm Wherever we started on center stake. Um, yeah, the heart of order was lost. Okay, let's start bringing home some armies. Because we now need to defend ourselves. Uh, we don't need absolutely everyone down here. So I think we'll also bring back one of our heroes. Maybe her, the hidden one. And it takes a long time to get there anyway, so. All right, you're building all the defensive stuff that we want, so that's good. We should probably build a spell jammer. I will build it on this conduit there. Just to avoid enemies from throwing stuff at us. And we should probably move it up too. Let's build this a little bit quicker than everything else. And we'll just build it on a forest. Uh, oh, well, wait, no. 
something here next to conduits works. Uh, I think it was a sacred meadow, so we'll just put it there. And then we build... Catapult towers and an armory. Alright, actually, shouldn't we be able to recall? Isn't that something we can do now? Wizard Tower. Return army to the throne city. So, if we do that, we can just bring this army back home immediately. And we'll do that to the other army as well. Takes us a turn to get, but that's okay. For some reason, we also get more mana now. Not sure why. I didn't really dismiss anything, did I? What do we have here? Entwined Scourge. So, question is... When and where will they come? <laughs> ah, this is turning long again. Um, we'll finish the siege. It's obviously quite simple. Nothing much is happening there. And we'll turn this into a vassal. Or honestly, we could just absorb them and then free them as a vassal. But I don't want to spend the period. Alright, so let's go south a little bit more. And let's recall this army here. These boys. And we'll set them... Kind of next to here. And these boys will just send over there. Because I'm kind of expecting a push from there. Mostly. Exhilarating pollen. Flame burst weapons. Nah. 20% critical hit chance. That's, that's crazy combined with what we already got in terms of crit. That's crazy good. So we'll try. Oh, the Kraken. We'll use it to weaken this position. We didn't weaken this position. <laughs> we could have just used this army there, send that in. Done it that way, but I am a fool. What can I say? Alright, another annexation. Let's connect up here as well, just for the movement helps. With a quarry. And we'll dismiss the level 1 spider immediately. What can you produce? What should you produce? Let's build you a, a mint. And also a major skilled? Yeah. Oh, that's probably where the mana came from. The major skilled was completed. Alright. Trade proposal. Alliance number 1. Alliance number two. Alliance number three. Uh, I declined this. Whoops. Well, now we got it. I'm so sorry. We've been announced. Uh, integrate. We declined a bunch of alliances that we could have had before. Whoops. Well, fine. Okay, so we have a few friends again. Friends that were previously our foes and our friends are now our foes. So that makes all, a lot of sense. Um, right, our ally is being a little bit attacked here. Thistle down. And in the next turn, we can start the Rally of the Legions and uh, reinforce Thistle down. I'm not entirely sure what happened here because we had reinforced them previously. Um... Maybe they already lost the battle or something. But yeah, we'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.